All you need is a little juju. All you need is a little juju. Hey y'all, happy almost Valentine's Day. <laughs> My name is Juju Bay, and I'm back with another collaboration video with Real Talk Session Series to show y'all a little love working, a little glamour working. We can do self love, whatever you want. I'm gonna give you all some herbs and some ingredients to use for your Valentine's Day juju. I'm gonna go through a few herbs that I think are relevant to this holiday. And then we'll go through a quick little jar working that you can use and pray over and bring some good loving or whatever kind of energy you want <laughs> into your life. So the first ingredient that I want to talk about is roses. When we think about Valentine's Day, we typically think about, you know, the color reds and pinks and roses. So this is a bag of roses that I love to use. They're actually edible and organic roses. Roses are really good for any kind of work around love, attraction, connection. If you're trying to strengthen love that you already have or draw love to you, whether it be romantic or platonic or self, roses is a great, great, great ingredient to use or even having roses around the home can help bring love into the space. So we're gonna be using some roses. The next herb that's really, really good for Valentine's Day is catnip. So this is catnip. Yes, it is the same catnip that you would use if you have a cat. <laughs> the same, uh, this is the same plant. But catnip is great for attraction. So it is a drawing in for those of you who are interested in glamour work. If you want eyes on you, if you want to draw people into your space, into your aura, I definitely recommend catnip. It is some one of the best of the best herbs for drawing and attracting so get it Next Valentine's Day herb we're gonna cover is rosemary. So rosemary is good, particularly for women, femme identified people to be able to dominate the situation, to be able to find your inner strength, to really bring out that inner femininity or whatever it is that you wanna call it. It can be used for anybody, but particularly I find that women uh, do very well with rosemary. So you can use this, you can put it around your home, you can put it in your jar, you can put it in a satchel, whatever you want if you're trying to bring out that inner domination success energy for you. I would say call on rosemary. Okay, so this is horny goat weed. And just like the name sounds with a horny goat, this is good if you're trying to spice up or bring some sexual energy into your life. If you wanted to enhance sexual energy between you and a partner or bring in someone who has equal stamina as you, or if you just want a good sex partner, I would say get, get your hands on some horny goat weed and add that to your working for some while we are on the topic of sex and sexuality this next herb is also really really good for that which is damiana damiana is traditionally used and has traditionally been used as an aphrodisiac so damiana is also really good for sex sexuality attracting people with similar sex drives very similar to horny goat weed but i find that damiana is it's not just a sexual energy that comes with this particular plant as horny goat weed. I think people use Damiana also for just attracting generally, but it does have a lot of sex and sex-like qualities to it. Our next Valentine's Day plants we're going to cover is alfalfa. So alfalfa, I like to use alfalfa for friendship connections. But it also is just a good drawing in, again, if you're looking to 
do any kind of glamour work, eyes on you, pulling people in. I think alfalfa is really great for that. But again, I use it for friendships, strengthening friendships, bringing love into friendships. And also people use alfalfa and I've used it as well for money to attract and draw in money. So money is, is always going to be relevant to Valentine's Day. I don't know why money is relevant to everything. <laughs> so alfalfa is a good uh, money drawing as well. So whatever intention that you have around bringing something in, I would definitely recommend some alfalfa plants. Honorable mention, honey. Honey is a slow moving ingredient, but it moves nonetheless. Honey is sweet, as we know. So if you're trying to bring some sweetness into your life, some self-love sweetness for yourself, some sweetness in your relationships with people, family, friends, you can always add some honey into your jar working or whatever working that you're doing to bring that slow and steady connection and sweetness into your life. I also want to add that cinnamon is really, really good for love workings. Ginger is great to add a little spice, spicing up your love, <laughs> whether it's self or with others or romantic. And basil, also holy basil, I like to use for bringing about positive and loving and healthy relationships. We, want, we definitely need healthy relationships. So I'm going to show you all a quick jar working. I've been referencing jars the whole time. So jars is just a way to contain your, your intention. It's, it's a holder of your intention and you will work your jar as much as you see fit. What I mean by working is praying over it, using it, talking to it, and making sure that the thing that you want comes about. So that, that is how, that's what I mean by working a jar. So in my particular jar, I'm going to do a self-love working today because I just want to, you know, work on my confidence, feel better about myself and feel attractive to me. So I'm going to do a self-love working. So the first thing I want to do is add my petition. So I've wrote on my petition what I want to bring about. So on your petition, you'll write whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, whether it's a bae, a boo, self-love like me, write those things down. Write it down nine times, one time, three times. It depends on who you ask. I just wrote my intentions down one time around my confidence. And so then I'm going to fold it up. I'm going to fold it towards me because I want this energy to come towards me. I'm not pushing it away. I'm calling in self-love. I'm calling in confidence. I'm calling in glamour and beauty, and I'm just gonna keep folding it towards me. And then I'm gonna add my petition right in here. The next thing I'm gonna use for self-love is roses. I think that's a good ingredient, so I'm gonna grab my roses. Just put a little pinch, you don't need much. And I'm gonna talk to the roses, say to bring me love in my life, self-love, positive and loving self-esteem and relationships, a healthy relationship to myself, full of love and happiness. So there we have the roses. Because I'm doing self-love and a self-love working, I'm gonna add some Damiana. So, you know, Damiana again is an aphrodisiac, but I want to be able to find myself sexy. I want to have a healthy sexual relationship with me. So I'm going to add Damiana into it. And I'm telling Damiana to bring about that positive sexual relationship. You know, seeing yourself as sexy, that will be good for Damiana. For the next ingredient, I think I'm gonna use some catnip just to bring some attractive energy to me. Not from other people. I wanna find myself attractive at all times. So if confidence is something that you may be struggling with or you wanna strengthen, why not add some catnip so that you are able to work yourself, work your juju on yourself so that you feel attractive and are able to draw in that good energy from you. So we add our catnip. And I think the last plant that I'm going to use is rosemary. 
for my own inner strength, for my own inner domination, that I don't second guess myself, that I trust myself. I'm gonna use rosemary so you know I can be that, that be. Yeah, a little rosemary. I'm gonna do one more. That, boom, thank you rosemary. Now I'm going to use a little bit of honey just so that this is a consistent, slow working. I'm gonna keep this jar around for a while. So I wanna pray over it when I feel like I need a little boost or a little extra self love. So I'm gonna put the honey in there and just, you know, bring extra sweetness to me. Extra sweetness over my life. And again, it doesn't have to be a self-love working that you do. Just with some of the ingredients that I named, if you're trying to draw in a partner, pick whichever herbs that you want or other plants that you know that are really good for, for calling in someone. Um, and then I'm going to use a little bit of my Bless Up oil. I don't sell this anymore right now, but this is generally a good drawing in abundance oil. So. I want an abundance of all this self-love and attraction and confidence. So I'm just gonna put three drops of my abundance oil. If you have any other kinds of oil from another conjurer or oil that you make for love or attraction, um, feel free to add that in there. And that's pretty much it. I was going to put a picture in there, but I forgot my picture. You can always add a picture of yourself, add things that represent you, add a personal concern, so a piece of your hair, or something that you that you have on you that's a part of you. Um, I didn't pull out a piece of my hair today, but I can breathe into it. And now my essence got some particles in there. So now I'm definitely, my spirit is definitely in this. So I'm gonna close up my intention. Oh, before I close it up, I'm gonna pray into it. So I'm gonna say my prayers around my own healing, confidence, power, sexuality, attraction, all the things. You're gonna pray. Pray into it, set your intention, close it up. And then for the first go round, you can set a nice little candle on top. You can dress your candle with the herbs if you decide to. I'm gonna dress my candle with my oil because it already has all the herbs that I want in it. So I'm just gonna put some in my hand, rub it, and then rub it on the candle. I'm gonna rub it up because I want it to come towards me again. I want all this, this good vibes coming to me, not away. And so after I dress my candle, and I use pink because Valentine's Day, pink is cute or whatever. Pink is love. I will light my candle. Set it on top. Make sure that you're being fire safe. We want fire safety. Um, and then that's it. Now you can continue to pray over it, continue to speak your intentions into it, continue to call in whatever your intention is around love and connection. And once the candle goes out, you'll dispose of it however you need to. And that's pretty much it. And you can just work it consistently. You can pray over it for nine days straight. You can pray over it for one day, then come back to it when you feel like you need it. But this is a representation of you and your desires and what you want. So for this Valentine's Day, I wanna make sure that we are containing what we want and that we're gonna to continue to work it even beyond this holiday so that you're able to manifest the love that you so deserve, whether it be from you, a partner, or a friend. I like to let my candles burn all the way out. So like I've lit this candle here, I'm not gonna snuff it out. I'm gonna let it burn completely and fully so that the wax is melted on the jar and that's it. If I wanted to do another candle at a different time, I would do that. You don't always need a candle. You can just speak to it, you can pray to it. Um, but yeah, I like to let my candles burn all the way out and not really do an off and on kind of thing. You could do that, that's just not what I do. I also wanna mention, you can make a satchel. So if you don't wanna do any kind of jar work, feel free to make a satchel. So you can put some of the ingredients that you heard here today or that you know of in a little, you know, little satchel and carry it on you. If you're trying to up your glamour, a lot of people have been asking me about glamour. Find some ingredients that you can put in here that make you feel sexy, glamorous. Find the plants that go with that. Carry it around on you, put it in your pocket. Put it, keep it in your hands, put it in your bra, bring it around someone that you wanna be attractive to. 
I don't know. <laughs> Try it out. There's so many different options that you can use with these with these ingredients. Yes. So for, for your jar, you're keeping your jar until you feel like you don't need to work it anymore. So you keep the jar with you. If you have an altar, you can keep it there. If you want to keep it in your room or in a safe space, and you just go to it maybe when you feel like you need a little extra confidence push or if you're trying to really call in that lover, you find your jar and speak to it again. You can put a candle over it again. You can shake it up. Now, some people like to bury their working. So maybe they prayed over their jar for three days. They're ready to dispose of it. So they're gonna go and bury it in front of a church because that's where one day they wanna get married, right? So get really creative with how you wanna use your jar and when you're ready to dispose of it, how you dispose of it. But if you're doing a love working, I just wouldn't throw it in the trash. Think of somewhere intentional to, to, put, your, to put your work in. I hope that that was helpful, y'all. Wishing y'all a happy Valentine's Day, whether you celebrate or not, whether you are baited up, booed up or not. You can always use this day to love up on yourself because you deserve that too. Thank y'all for tuning into another episode. Of course, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe and follow my YouTube channel as well as Real Talk Session Series so that you can stay up to date with all the good hoodoo and juju information that we have. Listen to my podcast, A Little Juju Podcast, streaming on all platforms and listen to the Miseducation of the People podcast where I was featured on too. So you can listen to my episode as well as the others. Appreciate y'all. See you next time. And remember, all you need is a little juju. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day. Almost.